This is my review of Backstreet Boys documentary, Show Em What You're Made Of. I saw it at a, a screening in Toronto um, <clears throat> about a, two weekends ago. I waited to do a review because I decided to watch it again online. I watched it on Apple TV as well. And I am a huge fan of them, if you've seen it in any of my other videos, or if you know me personally. Um, so, I've been waiting like two years for this movie to come out. It took them two years from their 20th anniversary up till like, recently this year to, to actually f finish it. Um, I want to thank them very much for doing this movie. I feel like, even when you are a fan, this movie actually had things in it. When you're a fan, you think you know everything about them, especially loving them for, you know, now it's 22 years they've been together. In the movie, it's t their 20th anniversary that they're celebrating. And, um, I'm not going to go over all the points in the movie. You know, I think people should go see it and see it for themselves. Um, I haven't been on YouTube for a long time, and... Um, I won't be on it again for a long time again, but I wanted to, I feel like they deserve reviews on this movie because not that many people are showing it, and it's, um, an independent movie, so any publicity, any good reviews are good for it, and, um, okay. So I've seen it three times, I watched it with a friend, I watched it with my husband, and I watched it alone. And I wanted to see, basically, if my feelings for it would change or how I would feel, like, would I still react the same the second or third time I seen it. And I still feel the same happiness seeing it. I still feel the same joy and sadness and anger. Um, sorry, I have a bit of a cold. I'm always sick when I do these videos. <laughs> um... There are moments in the movie where, as I was trying to say, when you're a fan, you think you know everything about them. I've been a fan basically for 19 years, uh, since 1995, I guess. They were big in Canada around that time, and that's when I became a fan. I have to say, if you're watching this, Backstreet Boys, I don't know if you are checking out fan reviews or anything like that, but I want you to know... You have a fan for life in me. I will never stop loving you. Um, this movie solidified that as well. You know, like, you you finish it and you're like, God, man, they've been through so much. And they've succeeded so much. Even recently with the star on the Walk of Fame, they continue to succeed. Their tour uh, in a world like this did so well. And it's still even, they're going to be going on tour in other areas now outside of North America. It's a huge tour. And the overall feeling at the end of this movie is respect and joy and feeling, like they go on, I don't want to spoil anything, but the end of the movie is uplifting because they start the movie off they're climbing a hill or a mountain, and at the end of the movie, they get to the top of that hill or mountain. And I think that's representative of their career. The beginning of their career is like the beginning of the movie. They're struggling to get up that hill, to get up that mountain. And by the end of the movie, they get up that mountain, and they stand up there and they look triumphant. And that's basically a uh, great, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's, it's like a um, metaphor for their career. It's like, it's showing that they climbed that mountain and they got to the top and they have survived climbing that mountain. And, um, currently, they're not seen as being on the top, but 
celebrating 22 years in the music business and all of the successes that they have had proves to anyone, even if you're a hater, when you see this movie, it shows all their great successes, and you cannot deny, you know, and it also shows how hard that they work to get there, and, you know, not every pop music artist works as hard as they did. I watched this movie as well with my husband. I I was like, you know, you need to see this because sometimes people don't understand why I why a Backstreet Boys fan is still a fan 20 years later. So I said to my husband, I want you to watch this. I want you to see why I've remained a fan of the Backstreet Boys for over 20 years. So he watched it and he actually gained some knowledge and respect for the band and the members of the band. So I definitely recommend, even for people who are not fans, if they're interested in, in just seeing what the music business um, can do to a, an artist, you know, it talks about heart surgery, it talks about rehab, it talks about vocal issues and strain. It talks about management and legal issues and stuff like that. So I really believe that um, if you would like to see this movie, you should definitely um, give it a chance because, you know, it deserves, um, the Backstreet Boys deserve to have the recognition that they've always needed and wanted by the outside world. And... Um, my camera is doing something really weird right now. Um, <clears throat> and just wanted to say uh, how proud I am of the Backstreet Boys for doing what they have done. And thank you so much for sharing the truth of what you showed in this movie. I am going to talk about a couple spoilers right now. The only thing that stands out really strongly that I really want to discuss is... There is a moment, okay, spoilers, spoilers, cut, click off, you don't want to know, moment, okay, and there's a fight in the movie regarding the new album where Nick starts going after Brian about his vocal issues, um, and it's compared to AJ and Nick's alcohol and drug abuse issues those things are not the same having a physical problem that is a medical thing is not the same fucking thing as uh, being addicted to drugs and alcohol that is totally up to the person that's addicted to those things not he can't cure himself of not being able to sing properly, of having vocal dysphonia. Like, I was so enraged when Nick was ramming into Brian, and then I was really glad that Kevin sort of, you know, brought him back down, because it was not right to talk to him in that way. Um, but it was really juicy, and that part of the movie is something that fans never really got to see. We always knew that they probably fought and stuff like that. But to actually be a fly on the wall is really cool. I've always wanted to kind of see what it's like behind the scenes. And also, it's really cool seeing them in the process of recording music and seeing how, like... Oh, let's sing it like this, or let's use this kind of wording, or let's do this. It's really cool to see that. And also, I'm really happy to know that um, they used footage at, towards the end of the movie uh, from a concert I actually went to in Toronto at the Molson Canadian Amphitheater. So, thank you so much, Backstreet Boys. Your movie was excellent. Um, I hope there is a DVD released. And, um, even though I have it on my iPad now, but, I mean, if you want to watch it on your television or whatever, we need a DVD, so please release one as soon as possible.